yeah. now. Yeah, people got- do it. People do it. They. I had. I woke up one morning. Someone had Google in my house, and had literally taken a photo of the street that I live on, and um, I immediately blocked and deleted it. And then the next day, I wrote, "Stop Googling." My post was, "Stop Googling where content creators live." And I have cameras on my home for security, but I was like, "No, don't do this. Stop. Stop doing that. Like it's it's really inappropriate for you to do that." And that's this. That's our space, our home. It's private, and this, so know. people will take, they'll take it to that level. They will, as you keep growing on this platform, and a lot of people have had that experience too. It's like, no, you know, back up. Don't look. What, it's not your business where we live. If we wanted you to know where we live, we would tell you. Mm. But yeah, it's not okay. They 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 do do that. They I mean it's obviously public information because in my house it's a you know and they can look that up. Yeah, but that's another thing. So that that's you know you just make a post the next day and say listen. Now I tell you what, Rachel. Um, not to make light of that, but um, I suppose uh, Gregory, you might be able to uh, tell me about this as well. I think it must be to do with the number of approaches that men make versus women make in the world generally speaking because i know you've said you've got male connections who get catfished and and uh, proposed i'm gonna have to see what they look like because i've only had one in three years so people don't track me or women don't track me down so gregory have you been tracked down by many a few um Have you? It's, oh, it's, it's, it's it's here it's here and there um where they'll it, you'll just i usually know and i don't know what their intentions are to be honest because i usually get the hi how are you where are you from uh kind of thing i'm like well it's kansas city look at my profile um <laughs> so i just i just move on i don't i don't answer there was there was one person that um i thought it was a genuine conversation it wasn't and start to ask personal questions. And I'm like, yeah, my wife's not gonna really appreciate this. I'm good, thanks. And she goes, well, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here and just kept on pushing. I'm like, yeah, blah. And there's a lot of men, let's be honest. There's a lot of men who pose as women. I mean, it's so obvious too, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of males out there posing as women. With what intention? But they do it all the time. I, I I can read through it immediately. There's a ton. A ton of males that do that because they want to gain your company. Oh, like, I see to get yeah. you on board as a. Oh. Oh, there's a ton of that. Trust me, there's huh. a ton. Of that. It's it's so obvious the, the the way the photo looks and the I mean, and then you know you you can read right through it. You you have to have your eyes open on social media all the time. You have to have your walls. You have to have your walls up. Um, never assume that person, I mean, unless you really truly get to, to know them, like, it's obvious, yeah. Right, so, this is something that came up on a, on a previous recording. Uh, who does a degree of due diligence before they accept a connection? Hands up. None of you? Oh. I, I, I used to, I used to. Um, but now, I do some. most of the people I get are actually people who I've, been, I've had a conversation with somebody who mentions them. Mm-hmm. And that's why my LinkedIn is not one of those with tens of thousands of whatever. Because I literally used to vet people. I wouldn't accept them unless I really knew them from them. Mm. So uh, my friend was like, you should have you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers. And I'm like, I'm not about that. I'm about to. I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm about serving people who want to be served by me. Mm. And that's not necessarily hundreds and tens of thousands. Mm. It's not. No. But... Mm, Jackie, you still do some vetting. Yeah, I do. I do. And I maybe I should caveat that with I've probably I've only seriously been on LinkedIn for the last couple of years since I started my business mm-hmm. but like the 10 years prior to that I'd literally only go on to like, if I change my job or something I just go and update my profile mm-hmm. wouldn't give it much more thought than that but starting the business and being during a pandemic as well it, it 